we will go over each of the sensors that the device can use. Pass the unit subjection belt through the side of the slip and go polygraph, folding and placing on itself. Afterwards, place the device center between the abdomen and the thorax. Place the band around the body and finally pass the other end of the band through the other side of the device and fix it so it's firmly adjusted. Tighten the bands around the thorax and our abdomen. The subjection belts should have been adjusted previously. Connect the terminal to the brackets of its own band. Hold the box over the thoracic band with a velcro and secure it with the tape. Connect the boxes to the keyholes of the device, thoracic and or abdomen. Repeat the action with the box on the abdominal band. The inductive bands will help us to verify its respiratory effort. Place the thermocouple on the upper lip. Flip the nasal flows so the ends are placed in front of the nasal holes without touching the skin. Connect the sensor to the entrance of the device thermistor in blue. Finally, tie the thermopar under the chin. Connect the cannula to the base of the connector of the device and turn it until the connection is secure. Finally, adjust the cannula under the chin. Hold the cables on the cheeks with the surgical tape. The nasal cannula will allow to control the respiratory flow and snore. The thermopar sensor will allow us to control the respiration through the nose and mouth. We will place one sensor that detects the limb movements along the sleep period. Place the harness behind the heel and fix it with the velcro that it's on the sensor. Introduce the cable in the pyjamas and introduce the green connector of the sensor in the gray connector of the device named auxiliary. Place the wristband and introduce the x pod in the pocket. and then the sensor finger clip to the x -pod. Secure the connection with the adhesive tapes, crossing them over the pockets. Afterwards, connect the larger end of the cable of the SPO2 entrance, and then the sensor finger clip to the x -pod. Introduce the index or middle finger in the sensor without standing out. Next, fix the cable with surgical tape. The pulse oximetry sensor will allow us to evaluate the oxygen saturation in the blood and heart rate. At the time that your doctor has programmed the device, it will turn on automatically and will start the recording. One minute later, the light will turn off so it will not disturb you. The polygraph sleep and go will turn off automatically in the morning according to a doctor's planning.